Adam Taurus in Ruby, a character who caused a lot of commotion in Volume 6 for a number of good reasons, and a character who apparently is also causing a lot of commotion in real life. Because Adam cosplayers are apparently, some at least, have been attacked. So, let me make something clear before we move forward with this story and talk about these cosplayers getting attacked. When I rant about the Ruby fandom, because I've been misquoted a lot on this, I'm not ranting about the fandom as a whole. For the most part, I do like the fandom as a whole. I get along with a lot of you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, that said... There is a small part of the fandom, which I call the fanatics. So there's a big difference for me. I have the Ruby fandom, and I have these Ruby fanatics. The fanatics are the people that I generally don't get along with very well, because they are extremely intolerant towards anything that they disagree with. Okay? So now that we're clear on that, these fanatics are so spiteful against Adam that they are apparently even attacking cosplayers. That's today's story. That's what we'll get into. I'll see you in just a moment. Continuing on where we left off really quick about the Phantom and the Fanatics. I said that you have the Ruby Phantom and these Fanatics in it. Let me just clarify what I meant because that wasn't really what I meant. What I mean is we have the Ruby Phantom... And we have a separate group of these people that I call Ruby Fanatics. That's just my opinion, though. You don't have to agree with me on that. I'm just letting you know how I see it. We have the Ruby fandom as a whole, which has its ups and downs. But for the most part, very good people, very cool people. Uh, but then you have these fanatics that I don't even personally see as part of the fandom because they don't seem like fans of the show. Uh, they seem more like they are just there to stir up trouble and drama. But now let's move on from that and focus on the issue at hand regarding Adam and the cosplayers. So it started off with this tweet that I saw over on Twitter, reading, I'm glad to hear that Garrett Hunter, Adam's voice actor, will go to Anime Expo instead of RTX. So right away, that took my attention. I'm like, whoa, uh, if someone's saying that, obviously something pretty polarized must have happened, right? You're glad that Adam's VA is going to AX over RTX. All right, got my attention. Continuing on, I mean, his character is so hated by the fandom, I would have felt worried if he'll stay there. I guess at RTX, this person would feel worried if, if Adam's VA went there, which is, that's just crazy. Especially when I saw some Adam cosplayers complained about being harassed during events like this. So there you go. That was the first thing that sent me off to this issue. And then I did a little bit more digging. And shouts out to the person who made this post. I don't know if they are watching this video, uh, but if you are, thank you for your help. I did redact your name because I, generally people like to remain anonymous. But if you'd like me to give you a shout out in the description or something or a pinned comment, I would be more than happy to. Thank you for helping me on this story. Let's continue on now. Adam's death divided so much in the fandom, and it became a very controversial topic. Same with Bumblebee, sadly. So please don't be jerk with cosplayers, especially with Adam ones. Don't forget they want to have fun with, the, with their favorite character. And now he's probably gone. He's probably X'd off. They'll try to give him life through their passion. If you want to roleplay, just ask them before. Being involved on something where your favorite character is once again victimized can be really unpleasant. I'm mostly talking about Adam because he's my favorite character and his case is special, but it applies to other cosplayers. As a reminder, cosplay is not consent. And if you see people have fun with ships that you don't like, just let it go. They are humans just like you. And if you feel revolted to see LGBTQ plus couple here, uh, just get out. So let's backtrack to this because uh, they're actually referencing something that did happen. When they talk about the, uh, the, the role play, right? If you want to roleplay, just ask them before. That's referencing a story that we're going to talk about in a moment. But apparently, uh, there was like this Adam cosplayer and a Blake cosplayer went up to him and was like hitting him with a fake gamble shroud or something as a joke. And was like, ew. So uh, a story, something like that. We'll, we'll, we'll get there in just a moment. Let's continue on. So the story of Adam cosplayers getting attacked on social media began to really uh, get passed around when this weirdo made this post uh, that got translated to something along the lines of, if Thursday I see a... A-S-S-H-O-L-E. I'm going to leave it at that, but that's not the word. The word starts with C and ends with T that they actually use. With an Adam cosplayer, I will break his knees, this person says. This person literally implying, not even implying, threatening. If he sees an Adam cosplayer, he will break their knees. Now, between you and me, guys, I actually, Anime Matsuri, got the idea to cosplay as Adam. Not because I really like Adam. I, I, I don't really like Adam that much. I think he's cool. Like, his, his fighting style is cool, but... He's nowhere near my favorite. Like, I wouldn't even put him in my top 10 favorite. Maybe top 20 favorite, and he'd be near the 20 side of that, if, if even on there at all. But I thought it'd be cool to cosplay Adam, because 
I like the sword he has. I like his weapon. And I also thought it'd be kind of funny. It'd be kind of funny to cosplay as Adam to see, you know, people's reactions and stuff. And this exactly, this post exactly makes me want to cosplay Adam even more. Like, the fact that this person is so mad when they see an Adam cosplayer. I'm like, dude, I'll cosplay as Adam. If you really want to try to break my knees, let's see what you got. You know what I mean? Like, I'll work on an Adam cosplayer for a convention coming up. I think that'd be fun. I'll work on an Adam cosplay, I should say. I think I said cosplayer. I'm getting too, I'm getting too excited, guys. I, I, I'm so excited with this idea. I would love to cosplay as Adam and go to a convention with these weirdos that might hate it, you know? I think that'd be awesome. Anyways, a bit too much enthusiasm there. Continuing on. So then Random Fandom, my homie. What's up, Random Fandom? I'm not redacting his name because we shout him out all the time. I don't think he minds. So shouts out to Random Fandom. Hey, thanks again for the good work. So Random shows the translated uh, tweet there from French, apparently. He says, if Thursday at a Japan Expo, Javoy, and an acorn with a cosplay of Adam. <laughs> Taurus, I fart the knees. Like, what the heck? You can't take him seriously. Here's why. So uh, the translations generally are pretty scuffed on Google, I believe. But who knows? Maybe that's really what he wrote. I don't know. But that, that's pretty dang funny. Continuing on. So then there was this tweet. Again, a French, I guess. I don't know. I think it's French. Looks like French. And apparently it was French from the last page. Uh, but it writes, one day after the shitstorm around my tweet, Yang is always the best girl. Jeff and Casey are always awesome. But I still hate so much Adam and these who re uh, represent this atrocious character. I won't change my mind. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, and then, you know, someone says, dude, I don't know if you're trolling at this point, but stop. It does seem like a troll, but from what I've seen of the fanatical side of the Ruby fandom, but again, they're not fans in my opinion. Let me let me redact that. It's so easy to say that, but that's not what I want to say. It's so, I mean, you see this often from the fanatical side of the Ruby fanatics. Let me just put it this way. You see it a lot from the Ruby fanatics. There we go. That's much easier to say. Um, if I'm a little bit rushed this video, it's also because I'm getting ready to go to Anime Expo. So I'm literally supposed to be there like today. I need to get over there. So there's also that. But hey, there's still work to be done here at home. So the convention can wait. I'll get down there. Right now we got work to do. So the backlash against that tweet continued. You have a user here writing, you don't help Ruby's community who's almost already messed up. The toxicity in this fandom, it's horrible. So let me just expand on that again because I've been talking about that a lot this video. I don't even include those toxic people in the fandom anymore, in my opinion. But, you know, that's, that's totally an opinion. If you still see them in the fandom, that's on you. Uh, you're, that's totally fine. You can disagree with me on that. It's totally fine. I personally just don't see those people even being in the fandom. Because, like I said, they don't seem to care about the show. They don't seem to like the show. They seem to only be in it to stir up drama and get some, like, points on social media from stirring up drama. So, in my opinion, those aren't fans of Ruby. But that's just my opinion. Continuing. Just let people have fun with their favorite character. This isn't harmful at all. It's because of people like you that I'm scared to wear my Adam shirt during events. Please stop. So, you know, it, it is what it is. People like that inspire me to keep doing what I'm doing. But, you know, it, it depends on the person. I totally get it. Um, the thing is, I'm not even a confrontational person, honestly. But when people go out of their way to do such scummy things, you know, I, I, I don't mind calling them out on it, to be honest. Let's continue on, though. So... The next tweet is actually the example that I was talking about with that Blake cosplayer. So, from the top, why do I feel the need to express their dislike or even hate towards a character while commenting on a cosplay photo? Like, pretty costume you make, character. You make uh, X character bearable. For example, pretty costume you make Adam bearable. Ugh. You know, cosplaying a character usually implies that you like them. So, insulting them, not cool. I have a lot... Uh, I've, I have this a lot and have even had friends say to my face that said actor slash character is ugly, etc, etc. Needless to say, they aren't my friends anymore. It's a sly way of trying to knock you down indirectly. Uh, good on this person for dropping them as friends. You know, the friends don't do that stuff. I agree. I get this with my Adam Taurus cosplay and actually had one person PM saying they hated me for cosplaying him as the character is toxic. Imagine having such a fragile snowflake mindset that you hate someone for cosplaying a character like that. Honestly, downright pathetic, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Okay, and here's the Blake story, actually. So this dude writes, was at a local convention this past weekend, talked with a chill Adam cosplayer about how frustrating the writing surrounding his character was. Told me that Blake and Yake, <laughs> Blake and Yang, Blake and Yake, <laughs> told me that Blake and Yang cosplayers, even the much older ones, were genuinely rude to him and wouldn't shut up about their ship. Oh, gross. <laughs> I mean, listen. Bumblebee's not gross. I shit Bumblebee. The people that are like that, the fanatics are gross. Ugh. This is why I'm so reluctant to do my Femme Adam cosplay. As much as I want to, I'm too nervous that the entitled Ruby fans, again, in my opinion, those are the Ruby fanatics, not even fans, to each their own, will think that gives me the right to be jerks to me. Will think that gives them the right to be jerks to me. So, that's that. Story, long story short, 
Adam cosplayers are getting harassed at conventions by the fanatical side of the Ruby people. Uh, it's disgusting. They have no tolerance towards people that they disagree with. And just because they dislike the character, they are now taking that out in real life as well. These people have absolutely no idea how to enjoy entertainment. They don't know what escapism is. They can't separate fiction from nonfiction uh, on reality from reality. It's just downright pathetic. It's sad. And <laughs> at least uh, from what I've seen over the last few weeks, it seems like there is actually a good push from the Ruby community, uh, pushing these people, pushing back to these people, saying it's not okay. Uh, I'm not going to name uh, labels or anything like that, but there is like a certain Ruby group. And I saw that, you know, it's a group that's had a lot of toxicity involved with them. And they even uh, acknowledged that recently and said they're working towards, you know, uh, not letting those people use their group to promote that intolerance, etc. So that's just one example. I've also been talking to a lot of people from the community uh, and, and I've seen some positive changes the last week or so. So that's really good. That is really good. There's still more work to be done, though, of course. But I got to get to Anime Expo. I hope you enjoyed this video, my friends. And I'll be back to business as usual on Monday. Maybe Tuesday if I need to kind of rest Monday. But that's the plan. I'll see you next time. Right